that back now just cause you keep receipts Think it's sweet, I won't sugarcoat it, I'm the missing piece Got you puzzle, brace your buckle, now you fit the nickel team We get quick to disagree, I'ma do what's best for me Though we fuss and fight, your girls don't need to be the referee Especially when you pay fortunes that do not resemble me So you're telling me what's paradise, it's like a trip to Greece Welcome back to the channel And today I got another video for you guys Um, yes, I'm in my car um, I'm gonna start heading over to my truck right now. I just got the car warmed up. Um, you know, today's gonna be one of those chill little POV days, you know, where I, I'm just going headed to, uh, headed to the Bronx today. Yesterday I had gone to Long Island and like, oh, it was so frustrating. Like I, it, it was so much traffic. Everywhere I went was like, even when I tried to avoid 95 and try to avoid like, um, try to avoid uh, the bridge, I went around it and there was like insane amount of traffic on 684. Like, the, the, like if it isn't one thing, it's always something else. So, you know, but that's just trucking. Go back on it. Uh, not even. But uh, nah, it's just when you try to avoid something, it's annoying when you try to avoid something and. You know, you're still stuck in the same situation, regardless of what you do. You know, it's it's annoying. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna be heading to uh, Virginia, so I'll be doing that tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, get there, get to Virginia tomorrow, and then I gotta pick up a load in Virginia, coming back up. So hopefully, I can finish my week on Thursday night if everything goes well. Thursday night or even Friday morning because I'd be great. Um, I was, like so, this week I only have two uh, borough loads. So borough, just you know, the New, New York borough only have two of them this week. And then since I'm going to Virginia, that will complete most of my miles because you know you're going 600 something miles one way, and then another like 50 or no, sorry, another like maybe 80 or 100 miles the other way up to Virginia up to Western Virginia, and then another 600 miles coming back up. It's about like 14, 1500 miles, just in those two days. So hopefully, hopefully for the week, it's like 26 or 2800 miles, hopefully. But uh, what helps me out a lot is those two borough loads that I just did. Um, so, but if I can finish this, this week uh, uh, sorry if I can finish it this Thursday but yeah guys oh man I can't wait till this thing is boosted it has has some boost to it so we'll pretty soon so make fun of my steering wheel yes i do need to get, get it replaced which i will um i'm gonna be pretty much do the whole interior of this car give you guys a little pull so the car pretty much only well when i when i know of this car before I bought it, I didn't even know this car was boosted. So it, it had a, a, a centrifugal supercharger, like a, a from Vortec. It had that on it, and I didn't even know. And uh, this car was running like crap, like like a whole, a whole year. I didn't even. It, it said it was running lean on both on both sides of the end, um, or maybe like a lighter, like you know, piston to uh, you know crankshaft, you know, a lighter. Um, a lighter pretty much a better bottom end it might have it but you don't know until you test that theory out because it was boosted like i started finding like new things that this car had there goes the truck i was trying to f i was finding new things that this car had that i didn't even know it had all right guys so we're here on the scale just gonna go ahead and get the numbers real quick all right let me just put them here
All right, guys, so I'm gonna need to adjust a little bit. So I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna just, uh, just put the tandem just a little bit further back. All right, let's go, let's do this. just stop right here all right guys I'm all right guys so i'm back i'm here in uh i'm here in uh, the bronx right now so i'm gonna i have to double drop this load so i'm gonna have to drop this trailer that i have right now and then grab the m31 pull it out and then put the the full one back into the spot that i took out the empty one out of so i'm just gonna do, do that real quick hold up before i even do that yo to be honest guys it really wasn't that bad i went the little longer way but it saved me a lot of time like if i would have gone to 95 like uh south all the way down i would have been it would have been messed up i wouldn't have got here at the time that i got here so i'm running on good times so now i'm just trying to figure out uh what time or where, where i should go ahead and back up like if i should take George Washington Bridge or maybe find it like a different route maybe it might be longer but it might save me a lot of time to be stuck in George Washington for like an hour two hours you know which is I may be exaggerating but it like it's a long long time so let me uh he said he said dock 11 so let me uh go ahead and grab that one or is this thing even blowing cold here like I don't even think it's blowing cold here it's a hot day today. I'm like, look, it's 80. Well, damn. The truck is saying 87, but it's probably like 82, 85 right now. It's nice weather. I ain't gonna lie. It's really good weather. 12, oh, this is 13. Look, that's 13, 12. This is 11 right here. All right, cool. I got a beeping green. All right, so I'm just gonna pull this out real quick. So. Yeah, this shit. This yellow thing. Let me see. I lowered the bags. Is it gonna go under? Yeah, it is. Bags up. I believe the pallets are full. I smacked the shit out of that. They're talking. If you ain't smacking it, you ain't in it. All right. Well, it's okay. I don't even have to put the, the middle in there. Let's back this shit up. I feel like, uh, if you ever watch the movie Cars, where Mater is out here, yeah, I'm the best backwards driver of all time. I th that's me right here, bro. That's me. I'm the best backwards driver of all time. I don't care what any of y'all say. All right. It's that door. Let's see if I can start turning. The good thing is that there's nothing on this side. They like to like stack them up, but I guess not today. I guess I came on on a good time. All right, let's start turning. Oh man, I think I might have over. I think I might have overdone it, but let's see if I can save it. Yeah, I can save it. I can save it. All right, let's turn in. There we go. Just a little bit more. All right, just readjust. Now we can go straight. Snake it. Snake it. Get up now. Come on. There you go. Barely touched that fence. See, I gave it a, a nice little kiss, just a little tap. You know, a little, you know, you know. All right, let's back this shit up. Let's hook up. Welcome back. 
Um, I had skipped a huge portion of like the New York and uh, the Newark load because it was just pretty much just almost the same thing. Uh, I'm here in Connecticut right now, so I, I made really good ground. Um, I think there's like uh, obviously there's some traffic up ahead. I think they're doing like uh, road work up ahead, so like the whole highway turns into one lane up here in the left lane. So I already was proactive enough to see the the signs and shit. So I were already am in the left lane. So, but I'm not gonna lie, today was a uh, pretty decent. I mean, with, with some traffic, I was able to avoid and stuff like that. I learned from my past mistakes. But you know, I still do believe that this run would be great if, if done at nighttime. If you're doing it, if you're like for example, if you're also doing like the the Long Island, definitely do it at nighttime. If you're going to Long Island, and coming back up, definitely doing it long night at nighttime. It's much easier, less stress, less traffic, and you can get you know back on really good time. And you know, same thing for the Bronx load. The Bronx load, you could probably get away with. That's if everything goes greatly. You know what I'm saying? Like your uh, your trip planning goes great. You know, you're checking your maps just to make sure that there's, you know, your GPS making sure that there's nothing up ahead. You know, checking for uh, secondary routes and shit like that. If you do that and you're proactive, yeah, then you could do it during, like, the early morning. You know what I'm saying? Like, 6, 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock. Me, personally, I want, I'm going to try to start waking up at, like, 1 or 2 in the morning to get up and, like, get, get it going. So I could be home maybe by, like, 5 p.m. or 1 p.m. or... You know get home by that time frame one to five <clears throat> but yeah hopefully uh, tomorrow I can get down to Virginia get to where I need to be so hopefully either Wednesday or Thursday grab that load sit there for the night well sit there for the night on Wednesday obviously but by Thursday start heading back up said that she had some food ready for me uh she said she had made some pasta so with me i think i brought myself a, a salad a chicken salad like a chicken seed salad and then uh, some fruits like uh, blueberries strawberries a banana mango uh what else what else what else yeah no it was yeah the salad the fruits the mangoes and then uh well mango banana and all that shit and a giant water jug and that was it that's all i ate so <laughs> hopefully i get home get some carbohydrates in me wife made me some pasta so hopefully she made some uh meat with that as well to get my protein in and i'm gonna be headed to the gym to get big you know get big I'm trying to get i'm not trying to get giant i'm just trying to get like you know, I'm already kind of already getting muscular already on my, my, uh, my arm, like, ever since I started going to the gym, and this happened, like, I want to say, like, consistently going to the gym and trying to eat, like, high, more protein and stuff like that. I was, I was at the fat side of, like, 238, like, I was getting, like, really chunky, and I had no muscle definition nowhere whatsoever, and I started going to the gym. And my boy was like, was telling me, yo, just like get on a crazy like protein diet, like try to, uh, well, cut out a few foods, like try to really religiously do that and then lift weights. So I remember I couldn't even like, I was struggling to bench press like 135. And like, that was because I had let myself go so much where I was like, bro, like, you know, like this is, I can't believe like I had let myself go that bad. Like I used to be like a, an athlete which is crazy. I used to be an athlete in high school. And I'm during the college, I just, and I met my wife and, you know, I just, just gave up on all that stuff and I just kept eating like a maniac. So, when I started like two, now it had to be two or three months ago. Now it has to be like three months of just consistently going to the gym, working out, eating healthy, or trying to eat as healthy as I possibly can, getting my protein in. Like, bro, I'm a human, bro. Like, I, I work, like, one thing I am going to say is that guys and girls, 
who like go to the gym and they like you know they're, they're posting every day like bro like or, or those people that you see online who are like crazy physiques huge muscular people like all that stuff it's like bro those guys don't like have regular jobs like that like what they do that's what they do like is there's no way like you have my schedule like what i do every day and you're able to do all that i mean i'm not saying that as an excuse because i still am able to go to the gym but i'm saying prioritizing just their own like their fitness just their entire life is just the, the fitness entirely you know what i'm saying because they make money off of off of that shit so it's just social media has like made us believe that like that's like what we should not well we should aspire but like the thing is the, those physiques are like almost untouchable to get like you either gotta be on some crazy ass like fitness routine right routine some crazy ass food or like everybody else knows most of these guys and some of these girls to be honest are on like steroids bro like that's a hundred percent on steroids because you know and they, they sit there like oh yeah i'm natty i'm natty as fuck like I don't, I don't take no nothing and like dude like come on now bro just like for regular people you should just be aspire just to be healthy look fit and look good that's it you don't have to be fucking gigantic or massively like cut up to the gills like you know what i'm saying and like that's why i'm not trying to be like stupid cut up like to like have like gigantic muscles I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm already a big guy to begin with. Like, I'm 6'2". Like, right now, I think my current weight is at, like, 225, 230, something around there. But I've cut off, a, like, a, I'm cutting off a lot of fat. You know, it's now it's starting, my body's starting to shape a little bit better. Um, I'm starting to see a lot more definition in my body and stuff like that, which is great. And it's only been, like, three months. But, like, what I'm trying to say is that, bro, like, a lot of, like, social media has like messed up the perception of what it is to be fit you know now you gotta have like gigantic arms you gotta have gigantic broad ass shoulders you gotta have like a, a six pack all cut up you gotta be like you know tip top like bro like this body dysmorphia and guys go through it a lot of girls go through it a lot it's just body dysmorphia in general like we're like told that that's like peak you know that's what you should be looking like you know, and if you don't look like that, then you're a loser. Like, bro, I don't see why the fuck you like. You understand that most of these people are on like steroids, <laughs> and not and people think that oh, steroids. You know, I'll I'll take steroids. You know, and then it, 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 it's not like some magic drug or whatever the case. Like taking steroids is just you still gotta put the effort. Yeah, you still gotta put the effort, but bro, like you take steroids and you don't have to eat like like a you know stupid healthy and you're still getting bigger than the guy who's eating healthy eating getting his proteins and working out regularly you know what i'm saying that's a huge difference like people don't think that steroids steroids is a magic drug bro like that's people don't understand that some people don't understand that i got you know bigger and stuff like that i got fatter and i just stopped working out but i've been going back at it and i'm already like at you know where i'm at i'm at two th like think about it, i'm 230 right now almost 225 230 at 6'2 and i'm gaining a lot more bigger muscle definition like my arms like i never had bigger like bigger like definite like not definition but bigger arms per se and even when i was at 238 all fat like it was just skinny arms just like a fat like undesirable body like this i just gotta be honest that's what it was and ever since i've been going to the gym like the fat was starting to go away like and my arms were getting like way bigger than like what i thought that they were actually gonna get my arms are like i look at a picture of what i wh where i was like not, a year or two ago and i look at myself now and he's like it's like a drastic change i had to throw away shirts i'm telling you i had to throw away shirts that fit me that used to fit me that they don't fit me whatsoever like i put them on i remember all my shirts i, I had to give my brother i think like 20 shirts I'm not even lying to you. I think give my brother like 20 shirts because they don't fit me. Like my arms are just too like big for them. And they're like large shirts. I mean, mind you, any, anybody can fit out a large, but now I'm like going into like extra large shirts. And like, I was never like a big like chested dude. And now my like, my chest is really starting to like pop. Started to show a lot more. My shoulders are starting to get a little bit bigger, but like 
I've always had like, I don't know, maybe this is genetics, but I've always probably now starting to see when I'm building my, my biceps and my triceps are like the main point of like, they're actually going a lot faster. Um, and, uh, yeah, like, like I said, I just wanted to say, man, like if you, even, even I'm, I'm sitting in a truck and I see a lot of guys and, and girls and stuff like that where they have this job and they're just sitting all day and then either they go to the back, if they have a sleeper, they go to the back and sleep right, right away. Or if even a day cap, some of them just go home and not work out. Like this job, you're sitting. Think about it as an office job. Like you're just sitting all day. You want to be able to get your workouts in. Like you want to be able to stay proactive and get healthy. Because the time when you get a little bit older, when you get into the 40s and your 50s, like that shit, like is gonna weigh on you. Like you're, you don't want to be at your 40s and 50s with so many health problems and complications. So I want to just get in front of that right now, so I don't have to deal with that shit when I get older so but yeah like I said like the gym it's good for everybody you know it's it's a good confidence booster it's good for you your mental health and your physical health and how you perceive yourself you know I mean going to the gym has given me a lot of more confidence in myself to where I walk like my posture has been fi- I used to slouch a lot now I don't like I, I my posture is pretty much straight like my back is like I have a really good posture and like you know I, I I'm not like how I used to be where I was so shy like now it's it's growing a little bit more confidence and that's the the, the, the thing that I believe that everybody you know who, sh- who does have that because everybody has that type of uh, confidence issue in them so if you have it I feel like go to the gym just try it out and uh, actually stick to a plan I'm not saying you got to go rigorously because people work, people have lives. People, you know what I'm saying? Don't And don't feel bad about having a cheat meal here and there. That's not, you know, I have cheat meals all the time. So, you know, um, you should be able to at least go to the gym and just stick to a plan. If it's like one time a week, that's fine. If it's two times, three times, whatever you can do, do it. Because later on, you'll see, you'll start to see your body change and you'll start to feel like a lot, you'll start to feel a lot better, a lot healthy. Like I, now, like sometimes I go like out when I used to go because I don't eat as much like junk food and fast food like I was used to. When I do eat it, I don't know, I just, it feels so lethargic. Like, ugh, like I don't, that's how I feel sometimes. Cause I was so, I'm so used to eating like how my habit of way of eating now, where when I do eat stuff like that, when I have my cheat meals, I just, ugh. I just feel so lethargic and just uh, uh, tired and shit like that. But I recommend to go to the gym, guys. Definitely. If you have the time and if you have the motivation to, even though you have work or whatever the case, I feel like if I can do it, and you guys seen my schedule, you guys know how it is. And most truckers understand their own schedule and know how hard it is to do it. But if I can do it, you can definitely do it. Uh, I don't know what I would look like a year from now, doing this consistently, I might look, my peak, what I wanna be peak at is like, I wanna be probably down to like 210, 200 pounds. If I could leave you with one thing with this video, is go to the fucking gym. That's all I'm saying, bro, go to the gym. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're almost, actually we're already in Massachusetts. If you guys fuck with the video, if you guys liked it, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really do appreciate, you know, uh, all the uh, all the people who actually view my content and actually enjoy it, even though it's a small majority of you know trucker, YouTuber, or whatever the whatever it is. I'm glad that you guys took some time out of your day to watch this video. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoy the content, and I will see you guys in the next video. You guys take care. Peace.